Hello everybody, this is uh, David coming at you from my living room. Uh, this is a message for uh, retro gamers who like to uh, play games on their uh, Android operating systems. More importantly, their, their Shield TVs. But also a message for ETA Prime, who is always reviewing these things and um, does a great job, obviously. Um, I'm only making this video because... Uh, you guys need to be aware of this, and um, I am also just hoping to God that ETA Prime could take notice and review this front end that I'm about to show you guys in a minute here. Uh, it's absolutely outstanding. Uh, I'm a big NVIDIA Shield fan, and uh, I have three of them in my in my home, and I love the prospect of turning them into retro gaming systems. They're pretty powerful, and they could handle, what, everything up to the to the GameCube rather well. Uh, the only problem being, we don't really have any pretty front-end options. Uh, we had LaunchBox originally, uh, but they backed out of the Android operating system, and they're, they're claiming that uh, future updates may interfere with um, their development somehow. So, whatever. So uh, we're left with very few options for the Android that, um, in my opinion, look pretty. And let's face it, that's, that's what matters, uh, is a pretty front end. Uh, all we have is an old version of Hyperspin and um, well, I Reset Collection, nothing against it, and um, a few other paid applications that appear to be lacking quite a bit. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I found Pegasus uh, completely, completely blown away. It feels like it could compete with the big boys to an extent. Um, here, let me press play and uh, I'll load this thing up here. Um, God, it's, it's amazing. Um, I set this up in about one day so far, and I've just done a few Sega systems and uh, I think uh, uh, GameCube so far uh with the theme that i have running it's called game os it shows uh the systems up top and it almost has like a netflix um grid style layout and um these are all customizable uh the screenshots have clear art in front of them and you could even change these to box arts and um each time you hover over uh the screenshot, it, it plays the video, which I think is really slick. Um, everything is very fast and fluid. Um, I, I just, I love it. It's so nice. Um, let's see here. When you, when the games obviously load up uh, quite quickly. I think I have a couple hundred Sega CD games loaded here. And there is very little delay. Once again, it seems like a, uh, like a front runner here. Uh, um... Beautiful. Uh, this is the game screen. The video snap automatically plays in the background. Um, as many screenshots as you take, they load up in uh, the option here. Uh, what else? Uh, they recommend uh, different categories from the game screen, and you can also add the game to your favorites. And once you do that, um, the game will appear at the top of the main screen. Uh, up here, which is pretty neat as well if you want to quickly find one of your favorites. Uh, I'm relatively new to this, uh, but I'll try to tell you what I've figured out so far. Um, you could change these columns here to show uh, more or less and also the aspect of the uh, screenshot. Uh, and when toggling through the games, uh, I have a lot of Genesis games, so I can hit a uh, right trigger and go from letter to letter kind of like in hyperspin and Like I said, it's all really responsive for being on the Android uh, This is pretty damn good Please go ahead and download this APK file it's not in the Play Store yet, but you can get it directly on their website. You really have to do yourself a favor and check this out. You'll be very pleased. Uh, another option they have, which is very important, is uh, 
the option to view your games um, not as screenshots with clear art, but with box art, which is something that I prefer myself. Um, the only problem with the box art here is that when you hover over the game, the video snap doesn't play. Uh, that may be a feature I think they're working on, and if they're not working on it, uh, who cares? It's still really amazing. I was able to put this together in about a day, so I'm sure you could as well. If you need help with any of the configuration files um, that I've customized for my Shield TV, I would gladly share them. Um, I'm not sure where to upload them, but everything's relatively universal. If you have a Shield, I would imagine a lot of our file structures and stuff would be the same. So if this is something you'd like to put together, uh, let me know, maybe in the comment section or something, and I'll try to get my configuration files off to you as well. Uh, hopefully that'll help. Um, or maybe just a some sort of written tutorial of how I set this up. Check it out. It's amazing. You'll love it. It's really, really pretty, man. Uh, my stupid camera does not do this justice at all. Uh, not even close. Uh, here, look, there are some other themes. I think you, there's nine or ten to choose from right now. I only have two on here. This is the default theme, which I don't care for nearly as much, but it's still pretty. You have all of your box art here. Uh, you have your uh, video snap to the left with your clear art above it. And you can toggle from system to system as well. Still very responsive. Everything loads up pretty quickly. Check it out, man. Uh, ETA Prime, please check this out. Uh, if you haven't yet, I don't know why you haven't. Everybody's sleeping on this thing, and I cannot, for the love of God, figure out why. Uh, they appear to have a very healthy development. They're updating this thing uh, monthly at least. I think we have a breadwinner, and if we can grow it in popularity, we ensure future updates. Any questions at all, and I will try my hardest to answer them if I can in the comment section.